All right, so we are way into quarantine now, finally coming out actually in phase two in New York. So forgive me of the messy hair and stuff. The uh, barber shops aren't open yet. Um, actually, they open today, so hopefully I can get a, get a quick buzz tomorrow. Uh, but today we're here to answer why is the sky blue? Um, first of all, let's say what it's n why it's not blue. Okay, it's not blue because it reflects the ocean. Okay, that's a misconception taught sometimes. Um, it's not true. And the second is it's it's not just our imagination. It really is blue, at least to us. Okay, it's not like we're imagining it to be blue. Um, I'll get into why some people think it's an imagination at the very end. All right, so we see this guy as blue uh, very simply because blue is a short wavelength. Uh, it's very it's very small wavelength. So as blue light comes from the sun, it hits our atmosphere and the gas molecules, nitrogen and oxygen, um, even some of our aerosols and particles up there, um, deflect it, reflect it, and, and, and bend it, okay? And it gets scattered everywhere. And our eyes pick up that scattering light. So we are actually able to see the scattered blue light that's coming from the sun as it hits the atmosphere. Um, all the colors are there, but most of them don't get scattered like, like blue does. Okay, um, so if you remember right, we had red shift and blue shift, and, and we talked about, and red wavelengths are longer and blue wavelengths are shorter. So it makes sense that we would see those short wavelengths coming to our eyes. Okay, but it gets a little bit deeper than that if you really think, because um, I've always wondered why is the sky not purple? Because technically, purple is the shortest color um, wavelength. Right, right before ultraviolet. So why isn't this guy violet colored? Um, so I found out that it's because once again, just like the, the dress that was going around, was it yellow or was it blue or white, whatever it was, um, our eyes play tricks on us, okay? So technically blue and violet are scattered uh, in just about the same amount. So this we should see this guy almost as a violet-y color, um, but the blue, our eyes actually receive it better. We have three types of cones. Um, there's, I'm not gonna get into the whole eye thing. There's a lot of stuff going on with the eyes. But basically, what's going on is that purple light and that blue light, our eyes can't distinguish that from blue light and white light. So our eyes just pick up it as being pure blue um, with some white light in the background instead of seeing the complexity that is actually purple and blue. Um, same thing happens with our eyes when it comes to yellow, right? There's pure yellow, we can see it. Um, but if we're, if there's two colors that are, if there's a, a light that's pure green and pure red, our eyes will see that as yellow, not as red and green. Our eyes can't pick them both out um, and distinguish it. Our eyes just see it as one color, which is yellow. So what we're doing is our eyes are actually seeing purple and blue coming in, but our eyes are picking it up as just blue light with some white light in the brown. And that's why the sky looks the way it does. Interestingly enough, um, other organisms that don't have the same type of, of, of cones and retinas and, and eyes that we do will see the sky as different. Okay, bumblebees might see it um, with because they can see an ultraviolet. They're actually going to see it. They're going to see the ultraviolet coming through and some of the purple coming through. Um, dogs and, and other animals might see it completely different than us. So. That's why some people say it's our imagination, because we're just seeing it as our eyes see it. But it's not our imagination. We really are seeing that blue light coming in, um, but we're missing the purple that's coming in with it. And it's the way our eyes are able to take in the light that lets us see blue skies. So blue skies happen in a nutshell because blue light and purple light are both very small wavelengths and they get scattered by all the stuff in our atmosphere. As they get scattered, our eyes pick those wavelengths up and we see those wavelengths. But because eyes can't distinguish between purple and blue and white very well, we just see it as blue instead of as purple. So there you have it. That's why this guy is blue.